over the last couple of weeks, I've received um, over a thousand abusive emails. I've, I've also gotten some supportive ones and some that are not supportive but are intelligent and, and, and interesting and make sensible points. Um, but the vast majority of them I could only describe as um, um, abusive and offensive. Um, um, maybe a fourth of those hundreds are um, anti-Semitic. Um, a few threaten physical violence. So um, this, is a, this is an interesting fact that, that we need to think about. One thing that strikes me about, about the emails is how many of them sort of have things backward. So um, among the anti-Semitic ones, I'm regularly accused of, of, of being uh, a Zionist scum. Uh, in fact, I'm an anti-Zionist. I'm not in favor of uh, what Israel does. Um, others seem to assume that I, I'm uh, writing this because I'm, I, I want to confiscate everybody's guns. I'm very skeptical of gun control. But you know, the fundamental thing that people, I think, have backward, um, they, many, many of these e emails say, you hate America and therefore you want to go someplace else. Well, I appreciate the invitation to travel, but the fact of the matter is I don't hate America. <laughs> I don't hate it at all, but many of my correspondents, I think, actually hate America or hate what America is becoming. So they hate a place that is more religiously and ethnically diverse. They hate a place with a black president. Uh, it has to be said also that they hate a place uh, where, I think, where there's downward mobility, where people are economically threatened and where globalization has reduced the chances of um, working hard and succeeding. These are people who are extremely angry um, and afraid. And it's, in a way, no surprise that they react to somebody who is, by their lights, attacking one of the few cultural icons that they can hang on to. Um, what, I think what I've learned from this um, experience is this is a very big country. There are a lot of different people out there, and there are a lot of people who are really angry and really afraid. Um, and if we're going to survive as a country, we need to do something about that and figure out how to deal with it.